Right, hello everyone. Now, in the last episode, if you've watched it, um, if not, go check the playlist um, and get a watch because we've um, obviously would have seen we got an eBay pickup. Now, it has turned up and it's in very good condition. So I'm going to show you it now. Um, you've obviously, if you've seen the last episode, you would know what it is. If you haven't, I'll tell you now. It is a Nintendo GameCube. Hopefully the screenshot's there of the listing. Um, if not, then I messed up and deleted it. But anyway, here it is. I'll show you the console first. You just have to bear with me. But here it is. As you can see, it's um, in very good condition. It's obviously still very purple. If you look very closely, you can see a slight colour difference on the tray here and the console. But it's very hard to tell. But you see, it's obviously all nice and grey on the front. It has all its things underneath, as it should. And the actual, uh, where is it? The actual crystal bit with the logo has got hardly any marks on it at all, but it's all there. Obviously, it did come with the official controller, which we've got just to the next to me. And it come in a little bag, which um, was something strange. I was unboxing it and generally wondered where it is, but here it is. You can see it looks hardly used at all. Like there is no wear on any of the sticks and even like in the edges. There's a little bit of grime, but nothing major. Like, to, this really doesn't look like it's been used. And as well, it's been kept in this little bag. So whoever had it before, obviously, has looked after it. And um, we have tested it, and it does work. So that's the important thing. Um, and apart from that, obviously, it comes with the official AV lead and power brick, which is just to the side of me. I'm trying to get the back controller back in the bag. It's a bit of a pain, but it does go in there. Bang. Right, there we have, uh, I believe we have an S video cable, I think, um, or it might be something to do with um, a Sega system, Mega Drive maybe, I'm not entirely sure, but I think it's an S video cable, but I'm, as I said, I'm not 100% sure on it, but anyway, it's a free cable, um, and you see we've got the official GameCube AV lead there, it's slowly focusing, you can see the Nintendo logo, and obviously it's the, the worst video connection possible, so we don't use that, we use our fancy upscaling lead, the, I think it's R RAD2X or something, I think that's what it's called, but anyway, that's what I use, and it looks very nice on a modern TV, but yeah, so that has turned up, it is going to sit prime on the shelf somewhere, um, probably going to put it in the front room, because uh, I do plan to use it and set it up, but for now, I think we are going to put it right here. So until then, I shall see you guys in the next clip. Um, we have got a potential marketplace pickup. So if it all goes through, you'll probably see me in the car ready to go and get it. So I shall see you soon and I shall catch you later. Right, welcome back everyone. Now for once, we've actually got a marketplace pickup. There should be a screenshot come up here for it. Um, we've offered 40 quid for it and we should expect to get around about, I think 80, Six pounds, give or take voucher of CEX, providing it's all good. So we're just on our way to go and pick it up now. So if it's all good, I shall let you know and I shall show you it when we get it. So I shall see you soon. Right, welcome back everyone. Now you have seen the previous clip, we are in the car to go and get our pickup and we have got it, it's come. So there is um, a t the screenshots I've took of the listing. Um, I don't think it shows off too well, but what we'll do is we'll show it off first. We are planning to take this to CEX soon. Um, I'm planning to get voucher and everything, and I believe, hold on, I should have checked this before, uh, but I forgot, because we did add it all up on the CEX app, which is something I use quite often um, when looking on Marketplace. If you see things for a reasonable price, I always uh, tend to add them to the basket to um, see the price, but without too much more delay, my phone is a potato, we are expecting, if I trade this all in for voucher, we should get either 58 cash or 87 voucher, and we paid £40 for all this. So, what is it? What have we got? You have obviously would have seen from the listing screenshots what it is, but we should show you now. So, what we've got, we have two uh, PlayStation Move controllers. Now, I believe, um, looking at these, um, obviously, if you've seen the ad, um, it's um, hard to tell because obviously they don't show the serial number on the back of it, which you can obviously see here if it's not going to focus, is it? But normally they don't show the serial number, but there is, a, there is a little giveaway of if this is a Gen 1 or a Gen 2. And I shall show you now. The easiest way to tell 
is if you're able to see it in listing, and it is a bit hard sometimes, is you see this one is a PS3 one. I've just kicked the phone, don't worry about that. And this one is a PS4 one. Now there is a slight difference. If you look very closely, one of them's got a white Sony logo, and the other one's black, and the home button is slightly different. And on the PS3 one, this, if I catch it to the side, you see it's clear, whereas this one is a solid matte black. Now, if it's all matte black, the text and the button there is a Gen 2 one, and if it's all see-through and shiny, it's a Gen 1. So there's a little tip for you if you want to know which one's which. But anyway, we have two of these. I believe they trade in for £7 cash each or a 10 voucher, so they're going straight to CEX because uh, I don't really want them. Um, I've never really been massively into the move stuff on the PS4, but I've got the PS3 one, so... I believe they are backwards compatible, but I'm not too sure. But meantime, I have some. So we're going to get rid of these. Um, they are in very good condition, though. So hopefully they'll pass and they'll take them. Um, and they did come with a little charging stand. But I'll be honest with you, I have no clue what this worth to CEX. But I'm probably going to keep it for my PS3 ones because there is a way to charge them. So that is something we'll probably do. So um, we shall oh, leave it there. I don't know where else to put it. Found a shelf. But let's go through the games. There's a few good ones in here, but most of them are a waste of time. But first of all, got FIFA 20. That ain't worth anything, as you all would have known. So I will probably take it to CEX and they'll give me a penny for it. But mm, I'm not sure of that one. Uh, and then we got Ball Patrol on a roll. Um, that actually trades in for a little bit. I believe it's, um, uh, what was it, £4 cash, I believe, off the top of my memory. Um, it should be a little maybe screenshot here of the price of what it goes for. I'm trying to look on my phone, but this um the phone I use is a waste of time. It's terrible. Um sorry, five pound cash, eight voucher for Paw Patrol. So that was a good little pickup. I didn't think that'd be worth anything. Uh, and then we got Cars Free. Uh this one trades for eight pound cash and a twelve voucher, which is um surprising. But there's um quite a good few games that do trade in here. And then we got FIFA 22, obviously someone paid £20 for that, and I would never do that, but that trades in for five cash and an eight voucher. So some of the FIFA games, obviously the newer ones, obviously that's quite a recent one, so I have noticed some of them do trade in, but yeah, that's um, quite surprising. And we have... Knowledge is power. I actually haven't looked to see what this trades in for, so um, I don't actually know. So... Um, Whatever it is, it's going to CEX because I'm not planning to keep hold of them. Um, and then we got Rayman Legends. Um, I have this on the PS3 already. Um, obviously, you can play it on the PS4, um, but if I'm going to play it, it'd be the PS3 one myself. It's just easier for me. But this one trades in for free cash, five vouchers. So it's a good little profit here for voucher today. So that's the, that's the plan with all these. And we've got Spyro as well. Uh, again, this one trades in for quite a nice one as well. Nice five pound, eight uh, five cash, eight pound voucher. Um, this is one if you haven't got it for your collection, it's probably worth picking up. Um, it is actually quite a good game to play. So um, if you see it, it's worth getting. And we got FIFA 18. It's not worth anything. Pound. Well, not your pound. I think it's a penny that one. So we don't worry about that one. Um, probably other than the FIFAs, um, one of the cheaper ones here. Um, is Just Dance 2020. I mean, it still trades in for £2 cash, free voucher, but, you know, it all helps towards the uh, cause, doesn't it? Um, and then, probably, in my opinion, the best games out of this uh, bundle, um, the condition of them disc-wise is great, so they'll be going to CX, but I've already got them, so I don't need them, but the best games in this is why I had to have a look at the price of everything how I saw it, is Minecraft PS4 Edition. This trades in for... Nine pound cash and a 13 voucher, which is excellent, really. So that's going to be very nicely for the cause. And again, if you haven't got it on a PS4, you really need to get it and play it. This is a great game. Um, I still need to get the second one. I haven't got round it yet. And there is one coming out on a PS5. And there's a PS5 console to do with it. So what could it be? But without sort of thing, here we go. Spider-Man. This game is absolutely amazing. Um, if you haven't got it, you need to get it and play it. I can't reiterate that enough. It is such a good game to play. But this one trades in for seven cash, ten vouchers. So it still holds value. Um, so overall, out of everything we got there, other than that one game I haven't searched, um, we are expecting an £87 voucher, um, providing the testing time isn't too long. Um, I'm hoping it's not, but it may be. So... Regardless, um, we should still be getting about 80 quid, 
not 80 quid. We should be getting about, I believe, 73 voucher uh, for everything. Because obviously the move control is, um, uh, I need testing. So yeah, it's a, a nice little haul. So the next time you'll see me, I shall hopefully be in CEX um, getting some footage. So hopefully my local store I'm going to has got some things in stock. There is a GameCube game they apparently have. Um, should be screenshot here right now. It's um, Legend of Zelda Wind Waker Collector's Edition with the Ocarina Time Disc in the gold case. So if they've got it, we are gonna go and pick that up. I believe it's 40 pounds from memory. So we've got the voucher for it. So we're gonna go and get it. So I shall see you guys after the CEX run. So catch you later. Right, welcome back everyone. Now, we got rid of everything the CEX, took it, no problems, and the um, move controllers went through, no questions out. So we did get our um, £86 voucher, I believe it was, um, but we have used some of it. We have picked up a game. Um, as I said, I was looking to get in the Legend of Zelda Wind Waker Limited Edition with, obviously, the Ocarina of Time bonus disc, and they did have it, and it's in good condition, so we have got it. So here it is. You can see it, we paid £40 for this, and obviously the voucher paid for it. And as you can see, it's all there. Obviously both discs, manuals. Um, it's obviously all the manuals as well, actually. There's, um, some of you may know, is, um, some of the early GameCube games come with uh, Nintendo points, and um, it's still got it. And it's never been used, ironically. So um, yeah, a little bit of history there. Um, obviously it's come with the black manual obviously for uh, safety i think it is and obviously as you can see we got the uh booklet there for it there's uh hardly any wear to it at all um obviously the light's gonna make it a bit awkward to see because it's a bit shiny but apart from that overall you can see the condition of it looks quite good we do have a little mark here and i believe a little one there but do you know what apart from that that is it you know you got to realise that GameCube stuff is about 20 years old now, plus depending on which, uh, what year you're looking at. So, um, you know, it is still a 20 year, old get, 20 year old game at the end of the day, but it is in excellent condition. So it's going straight to our collection. But we do have, um, obviously, plenty of voucher left. Uh, I shall try and show you. We do have, if I can line it up right and it focuses, it probably won't. But we shall see, we do have... Uh, an 871 voucher, a 20 voucher, and a 2830. So, uh, the quick maths there, uh, I think it's about 5671 or 50, 57, because yeah, it's 30 PS. Yeah. So, 57 pounds. Um, the 871 voucher, um, that hasn't come from anything recently. That was, um, we I got rid of a load of DVDs we had lying around because uh, you can obviously stream a lot of it now. So, we got rid of a load of them, uh, I think about a few days ago to CEX. Um, so, that's what that is. But in terms of what we just picked up, and flipped we've obviously still got left 4830 voucher from it so we are still looking to pick up luigi's mansion um should be a screenshot there of it unfortunately the closest store to me that has one is Ferrum. um uh, i think in one of the previous uh videos i did say eastley had one but it was missing a manual so we're not gonna bother with that um but that is probably the next one i'm gonna try and pick up or if i see the mario kart double dash um red case version should be screenshot there of it or maybe the zelda collection as well should be screenshot there of it so we have got a lot of gamecube games to look at we are obviously slowly getting there with them but you know i'm quite happy to have that for the collection as it is so yeah excellent result so if i see anything else i shall let you know and i shall see you in the next clip so i shall see you later right welcome back everyone now we've got something a little bit different here we've got some games for free which it's different. Um, these were found um, at a friend of mine, found them at work. Um, so 
he was he asked about them. He was allowed to keep them. They they're obviously not worth anything to him. The condition of these are not great. I was hoping one of these I could uh, get rid of to get a little bit of voucher, but it's, uh, the disc's a bit ice rinky. So I'm not really too sure what I'm going to do with these. Um, I'm probably just going to put them on the shelf, forget about them, um, and then probably bundle them or something. But anyway, first of all, we got one warfare free. Um, there is obviously a free game in it. We've got Black Ops. Um, the condition on the PS3 stuff isn't bad, but obviously Modern Warfare 3 isn't worth anything um, anyway, so not really too sure what to do with that one. Uh, and then we got Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Again, another one that's not really worth anything, so it's just probably going to turn into free cases for the PS3. And then we got three 360 games. We got Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Vegas 1, I think. And again, it is in there, but the uh, disc condition is not very good. Um, and same here, we've got Tom Clancy's Hawk. You know, they're not really worth anything. The one I was hoping wouldn't be in too bad is Call of Duty 3. This does trade in for a little bit, but I don't think it'll show it. What might do? You can see it's quite rough, so I think even if I try getting that resurfaced to take in, I, I don't think they take it as that bad. So, hey, they were free. We ain't got to worry about them. I may use them for cases or something, but they were free. So, yeah, something different. At least it was, uh, I only have to pay for it. So, there's that. So, I shall see you guys later on. In the